creating a full, beautiful website by writing a sentence. Just a few years ago, that felt like science fiction. Today, we have Framer AI. Framer AI allows us to click a button and generate a website from a text prompt. Once the website is created, or even while it's creating, we can go to the right sidebar and choose between different color schemes and different font combinations. Then, when we have a style that we like, we can just jump in and customize the theme for individual sections. And that's honestly how easy it is. So obviously Framer AI is an amazing tool to create the base for your landing page. And since it gives us the base in less than two minutes, I wanted to see if we can now create a full startup page from scratch in just five minutes. Okay, so let's hit start with AI. So we get the prompt field here. I'm gonna go to my secret document. I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna paste my secret website here. I, I guess, I mean, it's not secret. Anyways, a modern landing page for a startup called Deemable. Then I add some context on top of that. The more context you add, the better your output is gonna be. So with that, I'm gonna hit start and it's gonna start. Gen generating. generating. And you can see here, based on the first result, let's see if we like this. I actually like this one, but I do want to show you something. If we don't like the result, we just hit retry and it's gonna keep on generating things for us. When it retries, when it regenerates, it's also gonna change the fonts, it's gonna change the color palette. So if you retry, keep that in mind. Now, I like this too. I think this is cool with a big, bold heading like this. Uh, I think the font is okay, but I don't really like this color scheme. This is a bit better, I think. Maybe we can get something darker in this theme. Yeah, this I like. Let's change every section to this because this looks pretty awesome if you ask me. So let's change them all. So there we have a nice base and I'm actually gonna go back and change the fonts. I'm not gonna shuffle. You can shuffle like I did there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a specific font here. I think this one is pretty cool. I want something more techy for the body text. So yeah, this looks awesome too. Uh, this is a bit too pink here. I mean, I like this pink, but for this website, I wanna go just uh, dark theme. So changing everything to dark theme. Now let's populate it with some images. So I'm going to go to my little library with images here. I'm going to paste them into my framer doc here, drag them here. I'll take the first one, add it to my hero. I'll set it to position absolute, increase the size a bit, put it up here. Maybe that looks pretty cool. Now, this isn't super high in resolution, so it doesn't look super clean, but that's fine. You get the deal. Uh, these images here, maybe we want, maybe I actually want assets here instead. So, assets here instead. So I'll just add this. Uh, I'll add this. Let's see here too. Increase the size. I'll go into each one of these cards and just make sure that it's uh, aligning to the left, removing these images like this. Maybe we just center align everything. Uh, if we have time, one minute, 45 seconds. Tim, you need to hurry up here. Let's get this centered too, so that we don't waste a bunch of time like we're already doing. And this text here, uh, let's center align that too, like that. Okay, we have something that looks cool, 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 cool. I like this. Now, a website is nothing if we don't add some delight to it. Delight. Pizza too. So I'll go to effects. I'll say that this text here is gonna have an appear animation. It's gonna slide in from the bottom. I'm gonna change the spring animation. I'm gonna just go loco here, loco, and change stuff. I'll do the same. I'll actually take this effect. Let's just see if it looks cool. That looks pretty cool. I'll take the same effect, 
add it to all of these uh, items here, paste effect. But for the pricing here, we're gonna have a bit of a delay. So 0 0.25, for this one, we're gonna have even more of a delay. So 0 0.5, we'll see, aha, uh -huh, that looks pretty cool. Well, again, the image is in super high quality, so I wanna bump it down a bit. Before the time runs out, I wanna have some form of appear animation for this one too. Maybe it scales in instead. Let's see what it looks like, 60, and maybe a delay there too. That's, that's pretty cool. I surprised myself there. And yeah, we could add this to everything, to the full page, adding animations, Based on this text prompt to Framer AI, we have a website that is, I mean, I can click publish here. I hit publish and I click publish, publish, and we go into the domain and we have a live website made in Framer, just mind blown. Now, if you want to learn how to create websites like these inside of Framer, I have a playlist where I talk about that stuff. Until the next one though, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.